Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I want to do an upgrade of the Pandora Games 3D Yamaha Edition. I already did a review and a video about the difference between the family and the Yamaha Edition. But in this video, we're going to assemble one in an arcade product. And the reason I'm saying arcade product, it doesn't even matter if you're having a Pandora box with a Yamaha connection or an old school arcade machine. So this is what we're going to do. There are some differences. So if you're interested in which version you need to buy, keep in mind, I will leave a link in the description of all the videos that are related to the Pandora box in general and everything that is arcade. So for the people who are new to the channel, a Pandora box is an all-in-one box that you can use in your arcade machine that contains emulators and you can play some retro games. But there are some differences and things you need to consider. So first of all, as you can see here at the left side, we have an input for a power supply. If it's needed, you can always give it some juice over here, but you can also use it with the original Yamaha connection. Keep in mind that all the pins are on the right position. If you're having something that is different, keep in mind it's possible you fry the main board. We have the volume control, we have a separate audio out. Keep in mind with the first generation of Pandora Box 3D, it was not very good. Here on the other side, we are having the button for going into the settings menu. We're having here a VGA out. USB connection, you can use this for, let's say, adding new files. And here we have an HDMI connection. It is possible to add new games. I did a full tutorial with the Pandora tool. Keep it in mind, I would leave a link in the description. And let's build it inside our arcade machine. For this video, I will use the Heroes of the Storm number three little me machine. This is a Pandora box plug and play device, but it has some quite old main board and it's pretty flawed in many ways. For example, we're having old resolution like 480p. It has some really choppy gameplay and we're going to do a little bit of an upgrade in this video so you can improve your Yamaha Pandora box or arcade machine, of course. So the first thing that we need to do is remove the two screws over here. I find it a very strange very strange way to close this because we have in the clips over here but nevertheless let's open it up and let's upgrade this bad boy at the inside we're finding the old mainboard but what you can see this thing has a different casing so we need to use the old casing the layout of the pcb is exactly the same here we're having the yammer connector so it doesn't really matter if you're having an arcade machine or a pandora's box it's just very easy and you can just slide it in so this is the connector that we're going to use for our new Pandora's box. Here we have the power supply that is connected on the Yammer connector over here. So we're going to get the juice from here so we don't need an extra power supply. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to try to do is removing the little screws over here. It's going to be a very big challenge because we barely can open it up. I'm guessing we need to remove the top acrylic. Oh, it took me a couple of minutes, but now I can freaking finally remove this piece of acrylic. And the next thing that I need to do is very simple. Grab myself the second screwdriver and we need to remove the main board itself. But I am lucky because there was basically three little screws that hold this full main board on this position. I removed, removed a couple of them and now I can lift it out. But still, it's going to be very tricky. So that's it folks with this old main board let's get on with this and as you can see i think i can't assemble it because there is no freaking way to put it in here so the next thing that we're going to do is remove this bad boy from his housing i'm going to try to remove all the parkers and I'm going to assemble the main board like the previous model Alright, so here we have a side-by-side -side comparison with two main boards. And as you can see, there is always a catch. As you can see, this special main board is just made for the Pandora's box. And the reason why, because they removed the two connectors over here that are still present here. And the other problem is, they use this cable that goes into the main board, goes to the left top PCB that has analog and the volume control, so we can use it from the outside. The other problem is that we're having an active fan on this version. We still have the same connector, but if you, let's say, put it side by side, you can see the connection pins are not the same. So what you can do, if you really want to, you can use the PCB, you can use the same connector, but you need to, let's say, basically check if everything is on the right position. You need to have some soldering skills to put everything in place to use this PCB in the new version. 
So, but it is fun to show you that at the bottom we're having an SD card with the old mainboard. But I can already tell you that these are pretty pointless. It will contain the firmware, it will contain the games, but at the end you can't reach them. And that is a very common problem with these old mainboards. All right, so let's put these little spaces over here. Oh, and this is going to be tricky, tricky. Yep, I can tell you that. And uh, let's see how I need to assemble it and do it right the first time. You can see it's a little bit cracked and that is a shame. Right, so this is a little bit tricky because we need to put the little screws back in. I need to put the spaces on the right position. All right, yes. Okay, that is the last one. Ah, oh, the last one has been moving. No, no. So everything is set up, so we can put it back in the Me machine, yeah! All right, so everything is connected like the previous main board. Let's power it on. Uh, the first thing that I didn't know about the Pandora Game 3D, the new version, that the little fan is very silent. So there you have it, guys. If you want to upgrade your system with a Pandora Game 3D EM Edition for your Pandora's box or your arcade machine, it's just a great upgrade and it is a great way to go. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. So this is basically more like an upgrade for your Pandora's box in my case or your arcade machine. Pandora box Yama, it's very easy to do. It's basically plug and play. It's not really convenient for my Pandora box as I already shown you that this thing has a little extra PCB inside and that makes it a little bit more difficult and you need to do some soldering if you want to. But at the end, the Pandora Game 3D, I did a full review about this product, what it is and what you can do with it. I think this is one of the best upgrades at the moment you can get for your arcade machine. And there is a lot of, just a lot to talk about it. So consider subscribing, hit the little bell, check out the Pandora Box playlist where there is everything about the Pandora Boxes and what you're going to get. Because there's one big jungle out here. Alright, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.